the negatives. Mm. Mm. Hello everyone, I'm Stu. It has been a whole year since I got this Zhongguo Wuxing Ka, or the Foreigner's Permanent Resident Card, the new version, previously known as Zhongguo Liu Ka. I was one of the first 50 people in the whole country, in fact, in the whole world, to get my hands on Zhongguo Wuxing Ka. So I've literally had it from day one. So, has this card changed my life and was it worth it? In this video, I'm going to go through all the positives and the negatives of the five star card. So that is one of the big administrative stresses removed. If you've ever processed a visa in any country, you'll know that sometimes it can be quite difficult, especially if you're changing jobs. So that's one of the most amazing benefits of the Five Star Card. At Chinese train stations, I can enter the platform by scanning my card. Now, foreigners can enter the platform by scanning their passport, but I don't even need to take my passport when I'm traveling by train. At Chinese hotels, I don't need my passport to check in. I just give them my card, they scan the card. They don't need to take my passport at the front desk and make photocopies, which is what most foreigners have to do when checking in at a hotel. And at airports, assuming that I'm flying domestically, I don't need to take my passport. I just do the boarding process with my five-star card. Most of the time, I'll use the self-service checking machine so that it'll just identify all my information. Uh, I can check my luggage and print off my boarding pass. Super, super convenient. I can purchase a house just as a Chinese citizen would. Plus, I get access to something called Gongdijin or the Public Housing Fund. Now, in China, there are several types of insurance plus a housing fund, uh, which employees and employers contribute towards. Foreigners do not have access to this housing fund. However, with permanent residency, assuming that I am in employment and pay tax, I can start contributing towards this fund and I get access to this fund. So that means, if I purchase a house, a portion of the uh, mortgage repayments will be covered by the housing fund, which is unbelievable. And I can also apply for Gongjidin or a housing fund loan, which means a certain amount of money borrowed to pay for the property is actually borrowed from this fund and is borrowed at a lower rate of interest than a bank loan. Of course, I'd also need a bank loan, uh, but I can apply for a bank loan because I have a five-star card. Now, speaking about banking, after 17 years in China, I finally have a credit card. To be honest, I have heard that foreigners can apply for a credit card, but the credit limit is zero. Zero. This is a real credit card with a real credit limit. Uh, and not just one card, but two, I've got a domestic card and an international card. And the only reason I can apply for these in the first place is because I have a five-star card. In Beijing, if you want to buy a car, you need a number plate. If you want a number plate, you have to get one by entering a lottery. Now, I was in the lottery previously, thanks to my work visa, but every two years, I had to re-enter and reapply to join the lottery. But with a five-star card, I can be in the lottery forever. Still haven't got a number plate though. Do you remember when I first got my five-star card and I went to an internet cafe? I could get in, I could get on the computers, I just couldn't play any games. Well, now I can because the gaming companies have updated their systems and I can use the five-star card for real name registration so I can game all I want. Uh, so, what game should I play? Because uh, I don't know many, I'm quite old. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. Oh. Very good. And your full name as well. And my Chinese name. Proud of you. Yeah, all right. Always happy. <laughs> Very good. So what about the negatives? Mm. Well, to be honest, there aren't any. There really aren't. I'm not just saying that, there really aren't any negatives. Uh, if I had to come up with something negative to say, uh, it's that maybe foreigners who work in China, they have their uh, their work visa or residence permit in their passport. So if they travel internationally, they just take their passport. I don't have anything in my passport anymore. So if I want to travel abroad, I need to take my passport and my five-star card. If I got to the airport and realized that I didn't have my five-star card or I lost it whilst I was abroad, then that would be an absolute bloody nightmare. Pay, pay, pay. <laughs> be all way out there. Where'd the card go? I also never considered the amount of things that would need to be updated. Literally everything has to be updated. Everything that previously used passport now has to be updated to the five-star card. So that includes bank accounts, my payroll information, Alipay, tax information, WeChat, social media accounts, social insurance, medical insurance. You know, it's not hard to update these things, but it does take 
a certain amount of time. Now, because I was one of the first people to get my hands on this card, one of the officers at the Public Security Bureau said that I was a little bit like the first ever person to eat crab. Uh, which basically means I'm going to be the first person to try out all of these things. A little bit like an experiment. Anyway, I've updated all of the things that I mentioned, which means I can retire in China. Oh, that's a big one for me. According to the latest policy, when I reach the age of 63, assuming that I live that long, hopefully I do, I can then retire in China. And that's great news because this is exactly the country where I want to live when I retire. And that kind of brings me to my last topic. I'm so thankful, so grateful to have this card. Uh, has it changed my life? Yes. Was it worth it? Definitely. It's also changed my future. I just hope that I'll live until I'm at least 63. Hopefully longer. So that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I came here to film this video because that over there, that ta, is the first place I ever took a photo here in China. As you can see, I was quite thin back then, so just bear that in mind, that's what Chinese food does to you. Anyway, um, hopefully when I'm 63 and older I can come to this park with my wife, we can walk around and remember when I was thin. Uh, but, but obviously I'm quite far away from retirement age just yet, so it would really help if you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already.